showing your feelings from home sofas. We have it warm here at the Eno. It's been yeah. quite good weather. Was it warm in forest? Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but especially with the long loads. <laughs> this, this I haven't get used to it that you need to weather. But it doesn't matter about the weather. You need to have the long long pants. Yeah. Not everybody is running with the long pants. Oh, going to see I wouldn't go there without. I must say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. If you're running without a long pads, you can't you can't use the mini shirt anymore. Yeah. That. <laughs> well, that's that's over anyway for me. So, <laughs> 20 years sport, and then you cannot dream about <laughs> Miss uh, World Contest anymore. <laughs> Here we have now 66 teams at the change. Last team was Tampere in the fifth team, 18 minutes behind. Now, and when we looked there, Halden was 11 and a half minutes. They was leading uh, Alex Hugosson, uh, Helena Carson going out on a third pass on the 40th place, uh, 12 and a half minutes, uh, followed by Keuru and so on. Uh, Lahden Suunistajat on the 48th place. Uh, there we have also come back from Minna Kaupi on a fourth leg uh, after having a baby. Arla came just in uh, on uh, 69th place. Uh, and the gap was 18 minutes. And here, Alfta Ösa in the lead. And now a mistake there on this uh, control, uh, Sara Eskilsson. And the tail is there one minute. So it was actually one and a half minutes uh, mistakes for Eskilsson there on that control. Uh, when uh, soon we are waiting her here to the intermediate control at 2.8 kilometers. You were there also, do you remember? Well, that doesn't look familiar. Was I? <laughs> yeah, we yeah. were. Yeah. <laughs> this you can see that <laughs> I'm not so expert. <laughs> 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 and there she is. Uh, at the first intermediate control of the third leg. Uh, and now we wait and see what is the cap to Uel Norska. They are coming next. It was here at the change over four minutes and five seconds. And now, total new course there. A little different and the first two legs and Alf Tajosa and Sara Eskilsson heading to that long, long course there. And uh, is there? There is already Simone Nikli. And only 49 seconds, 48 seconds. So okay. Sime is <laughs> flying there. She's been over four minutes, almost four minutes so faster so far. So the game is open. <laughs> game is open. Totally open there. So these two favorite teams are there now fighting Alfta Ösa Uel Norska side by side and then interesting to follow by Mir Rastian here. Norska and Alfta Ösa. Eskilsson Nikli going now over to Harbatti Hill. You have been certainly running there on these paths sometimes. Yeah. Uh but mostly, so a couple times in the winter, so I must say it's a little bit pity that I haven't been there because there's a really good hills also. Yeah. But uh, we are living uh, around 15 kilometers, kilometers away from here, so there was also long uh, path, paths to go, like 30 kilometers, which goes the, over the Supuravara and those. So I had enough high meters at, in my, really in my home area, so, so, but it's a good area and it's good for, uh, good for the training. And now we're waiting for the next teams. Paimio Rasti, Jefko Jöttöbori, Hiden Kiertäjät, Kangasalas Kostura Tuna. Which teams are there next? And they were also this uh, four minutes behind. So that here we can see that uh, Simone Nikli is still in excellent shape. Uh, although According her own words, she is just uh, warming down and keeping orienteering up. Uh, but when you have learned it, you know how to do it. And there is uh, many orienteers just uh, 
lurking and wondering where to go, and they are heading on the controls where you were, Mari, running first leg. Yeah. This was also like I was doing in the trainings, that making taking the direction bit, uh, against my knee. Um, they was kind of laughing for me that <laughs> this is a little bit slower way. So, what was your competition number? I would I wonder is I would check where is um, Kaiser going now. One three o eight. One three o eight. And uh, yes. Uh, No, uh, yes, Kaisa has been changing already. Oh, no, not yet. Uh, first, uh, intermediate, second. Uh, no, she has been uh, at the second intermediate place. Uh, and when we look the times uh, between you and Kaisa, we can check those soon. Now, Tampere and Pyrin, the second team, and Paimio Rastis, Tura Tuna there. And now uh, we have to me remember Stura Tuna has also Tuva Alexanderson. So. At the moment, uh, number one in orange cheering at the last leg, and the cap is now only four minutes. Uh, Julia Gross has been fastest, so Swiss athletes, both Simone and Nikli and Julia Gross, has been running very well this first part of the third leg. So it means that they have the legs, right? Or mm -hmm. is this is it uh, is it like this that when the terrain is more difficult than the uh, stronger runners are good, or is there just a special terrain with where they? That's both because you have to have the strength to keep the pace. Yeah. And and when you have the strength to keep the pace, uh, you have easier also to orient here. Yeah, I think so. Because you don't have to concentrate so much on running. Rusty Garut there, Laura Jakobson, and together with Hiren Kertanu Okerman. But as I was then looking at uh, your situation, you used to this control 26 minutes and 4, 59 seconds. And Kaisa has used, when we take two minutes away from that one, 29 minutes. So a little bit faster as you <laughs> yeah. oh. But it look, it's going well. Uh, Kaisa has been also on a second intermediate control already. Yep. Uh, there. So she hasn't have so much uh, more to orient her in your Pummit Kadoksissa team. <laughs> that yeah. means in English that the missing the mistakes. <laughs> yeah. And here is uh, Norska Naftajosa. Interesting to see if they are already together. And then we have uh, Tuve Alexanderson against Natalia Kemberle on the last leg. And that will be a tough fight. I believe so. Kore, Jötebo Majona, in there, Anna Forsberg, Matilda Andersson, and there comes next team, these are still second leg runners, waiting for Kanga Salasko, Hanni Hampa for Tampereen Pyrind, Sonja Kyrrela for Tampereen Pyrind, the second team, has been starting very well also. And here, live GPS uh, coverage from the forest. And as you can see, it's quite a lot green. But what do you say about the light green and dark green? What was the difference? Yeah, I, I, for me, the, the dark green part, that was impossible almost. <laughs> so, but it was really difficult sometimes to, to see this where uh, the difference. So, yeah. For this, I think you need uh, experience, but it's not so clear. I can imagine there are so, so the, the darker green places they are there. You don't want to go there. Well, that today. was a good tip for the <laughs> coming Yubala relay runners. Yeah. Uh, Asko that Sofia Hainen on the 12th place, uh, 6 minutes 16 seconds, followed by Iktis and uh, Gabia Rasaitite and Uko Tisar and Elinor Charlund. There and here are many, many runners at the changeover. There is a former world champion waiting her permission to go for her leg. There are young and old runners waiting to go out, and here 
at the second intermediate control of the third leg already at 3.9 kilometers we are waiting for Alfta Ösa and Uel Norska to come there and they have been now running for 3.9 kilometers uh, they are now coming from a little bit different uh, angle for this control than the first two legs were coming it was a little bit different uh, for us here on this side of Harpatti little open yep. hilly area I think uh, this is the part where I lost myself once okay <laughs> so I was heading to the control but um, went too much left in the open open rocks and and find myself on the wrong wrong one so but then I went to the I found the other control and then I just asked really bravely for the next one who came there that where I am and then she showed you yeah that's so it's uh, a really Yukola spirit I that's Yukola spirit and that uh, you could see uh, a friendship through sport also yeah. so that uh, there when you are going uh, together yeah. you have uh, time to help uh, but these women they don't have time yeah. to help <laughs> each other they are just w eager to catch up each other and the cap is now only 30 seconds and it's soon Simone Nikli can see Sara Eskilsson there in the lead when they are heading towards the last controls of this leg and yeah, then we are waiting for Stura Tuna IFK Göteborg hidden Kierte at next one to come but the cap is that four minute cap, as you can see from the GPS, by me, Rusty taking a little bit different route choice. And then there are MS Parma, Gemuko. Is Gemuko going straight ahead in the green? Looks a little bit like that. Uh, followed uh, Teba Pohjan Tähti and uh, Tisaren last team in that group. Uh, Halden there coming from and Halden is uh, holy or running there on 18th place a little bit under nine minutes behind leading Alfta Ösa and together with Halden there is also Jotemu uh, Majeras uh, Andra second team and then comes uh, after that KV and they are Nui, Hiserasti, Kangasalasko and now EFK leading uh, ten and a half minutes behind and here is uh, Sara Eskilsson heading towards the next control and our cameraman Timo Mikola running after her. He has a hard job. <laughs> <laughs> running think. all around uh, yep. <laughs> and throughout the night also. So. Oh. But there is some paths already there in the forest uh, as you can see when the two first legs has been there and uh, 1000 women running in this forest. Yep. Yeah, and I think there was pretty much also the um, uh, trails from the uh, forest machines. So there was sometimes a little bit help. But not everything was... I'm, I, sometimes I felt that not everything was in the map or then I wasn't in the map. So, <laughs> so the, of course the trails was there, but uh, from, the, from the machines uh, between the different kind of areas, uh, open areas, and then you couldn't see everything. And, and here we are now. On uh, this next, our second intermediate control, which is uh, the seventh control of the third leg, and only after Samushka, as we saw, has been there. And now we're waiting next teams, uh, and I believe it's going to be Stura Tuna and Julia Gross there. Number seven, yes, uh, Sturatuna is there, uh, and behind her should be Paimio Rasti also coming there. And then comes Paimio Rasti and Sara Norgran. And uh, they are. Three and a half minutes behind of the Ursa. So still anything is possible. For Paimio Rasti, there is Norwegian Ida Marines Björgul 
and Tuve Alexander from Nostura to as we said. And Tampere put into second team now doing excellent job when we know that the first team dropped down after the first leg. Put into second team now on the fifth place, followed by IFK Muras UK. So uh, good work from these two teams. Uh, Denisa Kosova and Sonia Kurel there and uh, for Muras there is Kirstin Löfgren and for Tampere and Purinta Simona Abersheld, Swiss team there. And there a small mistake, a small mistake for Alfta Ösa after this control. Does that mean that Uwe Norska and Simona Nikle is in the lead? We have to wait and see the situation beside the graveyard. This terrain is quite uh, how could say there are many sides of it. There is this uh, Harpatinvara, big hill, and the other side it, we have seen it's quite green. Yeah. Then this open area at this moment. Uh, so yeah, I, I, that's right. That's right. Uh, <laughs> there's, <laughs> and there's a challenge. It's there's a, a big challenge big, big because challenge. it changes all the time. Yeah, and you have to know what to do in different. Part. There are MS Parma now, Eden Kiertajat punching there before, and also Rastikar, they were together so many. And we have uh, Finns following here on the positions 7, 8, and 9. About your summer, summer training is now on a full pace. Yeah, I was just, I came here uh, straight from Norway, from the Songefell, from the, from the snow camp. Spending their 11 days on on snow training and lot of lot of hours, lot of basic trainings, nothing really special, but yeah, yeah but <laughs> feeling doing, a little bit tired. Doing, <laughs> doing the basic job, basic job to do yeah. to get the bottom in the yeah. so that you you have the thing so that you can put some effort on uh, yeah. getting in. The, and here we see Simone Nickle in the lead. there and how close is now after Ursa and Sara Eskilsson this is orienteering everything can happen cap was over four minutes when they started but now it's other way around I think that's the biggest similar thing in biathlon and orienteering the race is not over until it's until it's over <laughs> so there can happen big, big changes during the race. That's true, and uh, here we see Sime heading towards the last controls. And here comes uh, then Alfta Ösa and Sara Eskilsson. And there's also Kaisa Makaren <laughs> in the picture. Yes, <laughs> so. she is there. <laughs> the pace was a little bit different. Yeah, but. It looks good. It yeah, looks good for for us. Yeah. Luckily, this is our hobby only, <laughs> so <laughs> it could also look a little bit different if we take uh, th these girls for the for the biathlon. But this is what we see now. This looks really, really strong and hungry. I saw the Finnish national team when they were having a training camp for the Estonian World Championships. Uh, they were training at Otepa. They were a little bit uh, doing biathlon also there. Oh, great. So. I yeah. saw some uh, photos in the in social media, so yeah. I I say that it looks a little bit funny. But, but they are they are welcome to try. So I must yeah. say the Sami Jauhojärvi is one of the from the cross country who has tried biathlon also, and I must respect it because it's yeah. So he's ready to put himself self in the fire, and yeah, no, why not? So if anybody want to try, I think you will find find a help and it don't need to be so serious always. That's true and uh, as I said, one one discipline to try is biathlon orienteering also so, but yeah. in that sport you don't have to carry the weapon on the yeah. <laughs> I, I believe if you have to carry your rifle on the, at the orienteering the sixth way, we are sewing a little bit on the wrong direction yeah. when you come to the <laughs> yeah. shooting range. Yeah. Well, not kind of lead.
Simon and Nikli coming there after Ursa, a little bit under one minute behind. And then there is a gap to Stura Tuna Paimio Rasti, which was a little bit under four minutes when Simon and Nikli is now here at the last control of the third leg. It was quite a long way from the last one control to the finish. Yeah, but it's good. So there was <laughs> one part where you can really run. So. It, but there was, was lot made, of, it was made for you. Yeah, and it, well, it, was, it was great. There was a lot of people who, uh, who recognized me. Of course, this is my hometown, so I think <laughs> if somewhere people recognize me here. So <laughs> it was really great, and I made a, like, a high five line with the people. So it's a great memory, I think, and, for me. And because there is people all the way this last 500, almost 600 meters from the last control, you get some energy from the people cheering for you and yeah. pushing up the last meters. I had the biggest smile, I think, in this part. I know it, that I'm, I'm safe already. Yeah. <laughs> There's walls inside <laughs> me. So. over it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's been now almost four minutes since uh, Simon and Nikli punched there at the 13th minute. Now it's Tura Tuna, Julia Gross there. Three minutes, 46 seconds behind when Nigli is here at the stadium soon. There is first this bridge, then a little bit, uh, and then this small, small uphill, 50 meters before finish. Uh, and it's going to, it's tough, tough meters because uh, it's quite warm yeah. and you have pushed everything in this hard party terrain. Yeah. Stura Tuna, it's been there now alone. No Paimio Rasti and Sara Nordrom yet at the third intermediate control at 4.9 kilometers. And now it's Ieko Muras there, Denisa Kosova. Five, four and a half minutes behind, leading Simone Nikli and Uel Norska here as a first women at the finish. 35 minutes 48 seconds was the time for Simon Nikli on this leg. And when we look at the others, uh, only Julia Gross has come quite close uh, to her times. Uh, 40 seconds slower at uh, 5 kilometers. So Simon has been doing very well. Yeah, looks, looks cool. And now for the last leg, uh, there is. Uh, for Uel Norska. Sabine Hausfirt. Sabine, who ran Tiu Mila for Halden this spring. And there is Kaisa Makaren, and also yeah. here is Kaisa coming at the finish, punching there. So, two legs done yep. from your team, also. Very well. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a great experience. So we have two other to come, and the last uh, last lady is, uh, in fact, uh, Olympic medalist on ice hockey. So <laughs> yes, it's, yeah, it's great to great to have both of them in our team and make some work for them and help for the juniors. And your position when Kaisa was changing was 243. No, not bad. Not I'll, bad. I'll, you I'll were <laughs> you were on, you were 196 on the first leg. Yeah, yeah there was uh, we had a 1,300 something was the number, and we started like there was like maybe five girls behind us. So yes. we just tried to be better than our numbers on our. It's, so far, it's gone great. It's good. Everything <laughs> now, Sara Vuorinen and me. Kirsi Hanninen in your team at the same time that there are Sibone, Nigli and Sara Eskilsson slowly doing high fives. Gap was here at the finish. One minute and three seconds. And then we're waiting for Stura to now. IFK Mura, Stamperen Pyrit, the second team. Paimio Rasti, Amos Parma, Rasti Karhut and Hiden Kiertejat on a ninth place, but the cap is already 6 minutes and 46 seconds, and then comes Jöte Bormajona UK, and IFK leading on the next place is 2, 5 kilometers, so they have still a little bit to run before the changeover, and the cap is a little bit over 7 minutes. How is your summer continuing now, Marit? 
Yeah, I'm spending one week here in my with my family, and then we are heading to the Vogati for one week for the national team camp after the midsummer festival. So fest, <laughs> how we call it? No, no festivals, but own festival, yeah. And yeah, and then after this, I travel back in home in Austria. I'm staying there nowadays yep. mostly, and. Yeah, and then I think in the July I stay stay in home in the mountains and using them, and then coming back to Finland again in August and September. Okay, sounds like a plan. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a good plan. And uh, when does your season begin? Uh, the World Cup starts um, normally um, the last weekend of the November in Östersund. Yeah. So Sweden. the shuttle shuttle is always <laughs> mostly the same. And here comes the third team at Statura Tuna. And the cap is now Julia Gross coming in. And it's a little bit under four minutes. So everything is open when we could say number one orange in the world. Tuve Alexanderson is going out. Tuve won the first World Cup tour here in Finland in Lohja this May. And then comes also. Soon, Tampereen Pyrinto and the second team there towards the finish, and that is a surprise. Maybe for many young girls from Tampere has been running very well. It's great when, to the, see. when the first team a little had missed luck there in the beginning of the first leg, and there goes uh, Tuve Alexanderson for the last leg, and the cap is three minutes forty. 54 seconds so I believe it's going to be interesting interesting last leg Mari I wish you all the best for the training and for the winter and now you can go there and uh, change some words with Kaisa how was it uh, yeah and you can say to Kaisa I was a little bit faster than you but not much <laughs> <laughs> no well we are competing in winter yes, this you are competing yeah. in, yes we don't count this so but this has been an excellent training. Yeah, sure. And a great experience so so far. And I think now it starts when I go in front of uh, in front of the people and talking with them. So yeah. it will be a great, yeah. great day and evening. This was your first time. Will it be the last time? I don't think so. It's it now I can feel it that I will I will do it. So, <laughs> of so course. <laughs> now, now I can uh, ask that uh, it's next year in Lahti and Hollola. So it would be nice to see you there. Well, we will see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. there are a new team around you and uh, maybe we see in Lahti Hulla you got 2018. Yeah, this was a great experience with the charity to, to collect the money and something for something like this I'm always ready. So the juniors are always in my heart. It doesn't matter which discipline we see this. So it's great. I wish you all the luck. Uh, enjoy Thank the you. time in Sunny Eno and you will relate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Situation at the moment. Uh, Uel Norska in the lead after Ursa, then Julia Gross and Sturia Tuna on a third place. Uh, three minutes 54. And then comes Tampereen Pyrinto, IFK Muras UK, Paimir Rasti, MS Parma. Pyrinto and Muras together, Paimir Rasti, MS Parma there. A small gap between there. Sara Norkland lost. Now some seconds here in the end. Uh, on the last leg uh, for uh, Tampere and Pyrrhine, the second team, there is uh, Simona Aberschöld, Kirstin Löfgren for IFK Muras, Ida Marines Björgul for Paimio Rasti and MS Parma Maja Sianoja. And now here we see the cap. Different forking for Norska and after Ösa for uh, Hauswirt and Kemperle here. And then we know that Tuve started a little bit under four minutes behind. Rasti Karhut on eighth place. Laura Jakobson coming in. Elli Peltomäki going out. And after that, uh, we are waiting for Hidenkiertäät. Jotepa Majuna UK, Asko Pohjan Tätti Halden, Pan Christian Saad, and here comes Hiiden Kiertäät now changing, Anu Okerman coming in, and Julia Novikova. 
on the ninth place, seven and a half minutes behind leading Uel Norska. And in the lead from the third leg, we had Simone Nigli from Uel Norska. And here we have the interview from Sime after the leg. Times a great run once again. How was it? Yeah, I'm very, very happy about my race. So I had a, quite a clean race. I took some secure routes when, I, when it was tricky. Then uh, you can speed up when you're safe. I never saw Sada, so I just thought that I was second, but I was happy with my uh, performance. And uh, yeah, now I'm really, really happy because it was my big goal this year, this Venla, and I really make a lot of training for this. So uh, yeah, I'm just happy. How is your shape now compared to your absolute top years? <laughs> well, of course, it's, uh, it's another level, So, uh, but I don't think that I lost so much on my endurance but of course the, the speed so in a sprint i wouldn't have any chance against the top women and of course i was on the third leg today so it was not the very best on it but uh, yeah I, we have uh, only good runners in our team so it was hard to take out uh, the order but i'm sure that sabine will do a very good job is uh, sabine been prepared for going out in the lead i heard that your aim was to be in top 10 but now you're you have sent her alone in the lead well our goal was top 10 but also uh, with the aim to come up higher and we also discussed about being able to win this um, relay and uh, so we discussed with sabine that it might be that she goes out in the lead and i think uh, she's experienced and uh, she will do her, our, her best Okay, now we have some exciting minutes in, in front of us. Thank you. Thank you very much. And there we have uh, thoughts from uh, Simone Nigli. Excellent, excellent work on the third leg. Uwe Norska leading by one minute ahead of after Ursa. Sabine Hausfeld against Natalie Gemperle. And then four minutes behind comes Tuve Alexanderson. I believe at the moment that the fight is between three teams, these three teams. Tamara Purin, the second team, Simona Abeschalde, Kirstin Löfgren from UK, Yvko Muras UK and Pamir Rasti Ida Marines Björkel in the next group, followed by Amas Parma, Maja Siano ja Rasti Karut, Elli Peltomäki, Hidenkert, Juliano Vikova, Jotepo Majona, Lina Strand, Elena Roos for Halden on 11th place. Asko Pohjantähti, Marika Teini start the chase from the 12th place followed by Kove and Svetlana Mironova two times a world champion in military championships here at Finland this week although I believe Sveta's legs are not in a good shape because all the Russian team traveled on Friday from Hamina back to Moscow and then back to Joensu again maybe that wasn't the best preparing for this relay but we'll see how it was, uh, how is it with uh, Svetlana's legs now? Pan Christian stand uh, on a 14th place. Ursula Kadan, silver medalist from middle distance this week from uh, military championships on the last leg there. Then Uko Kore, Anteanui, Uko Tisarin, Iktisa, and Anteanui, second team on the 19th place so far. And if you be wonder where is EF Coyote Bury, I got the information that they were disqualified from the second leg because there was one mispunching. And now Gea Muko's uh, second team on the 20th place. Cap is a little bit under 20 minutes uh, to the leading Uel Norska. Twenty teams among twelve minutes, quite big differences. And uh, then I'm looking what we, who we are waiting next to arrive. 
Tero Hiisi rasti Tampereen pyrintö Saila Kinni has now game she went out on 47th place and has now is on the 22nd place and soon now he's rusty on the 21st place and next one should be Saila Kinni and Venla Harju here waiting to go out for the chase but the gap is already over 13 minutes it's 30 minutes and 8 seconds when Saila punching here at the final final finish line and then continues to pick up the map to Venla Harju. Pangasalan score just behind and then Uko Orion. And there are Eveli Kasiku and Nadia Volinska going out. So Harju Volinska may come together. Volinska has been running very well this uh, spring also. Although a little bit uh, almost been better this Ukrainian sprint. MS Parma, Otisarela, second team, MS Parma first team already there on the seventh place. So good, good work from MS Parma. Both teams, Otisarela came in and Andy Heikkonen going out. And here is the situation at the last changeover after third leg and the caps. And now it's interesting to see the gap between Stura Tuna and leading teams Uwe Norska and Alfta Ösa when these teams are now heading towards the first TV control. Which is the fifth control and here now replay Uwe Norska Alfta Ösa and small mistakes there by Kemperle at the first control and then comes uh, Stura Tuna and uh, Tuve Alexanderson. And although it looked to be so that she missed the first control, she took it very smoothly. And the tail is one minute, so maybe two minutes behind uh, of the other side now Stura Tuna. Uwe Norska leading by one minute uh, when soon when very soon they are at the first TV control, control number five. And here you can see the green areas and also the forkings of this relay. And here we have seen many, many mistakes, and which has caused sometimes for the teams. You, Sabina Hausfirt. Uh, at the E forking there after the D Stura Suna F. So very interesting moments of living in this women's relay. At the change, we have now totally 29 teams uh, leading uh, on the 26th place. Uh, Anna Bachmann going is now on the course, and cap is a little bit under 15 minutes. Uh, Jarla Nudal is Lynx and Lillumarka on the 30th place when we are now at 2.8 kilometers and uh, waiting for Sabine Hauswirt from Uel Norska and Switzerland. Are we going to have the first Swiss team to win Yukola ever? Are we going to see some history made here at Eno? And Joensu. To this control, we are waiting now Hausfirt in any, any moments. Here we have second and the third leg runners punching there, taking their courses. And when I'm looking at the GPS, uh, Hausfirt made a mistake just before that control, and now they are together. There they are. Natalia Kemberle, Sabine Hausfirt, together.
and now it's interesting to see what they are doing and here also now Tuve Alexanderson making mistakes there on the forkings she has took the wrong path to that small stone and now punching there so it's bigger the gap it was three minutes from uh, Kemperle to Alexanderson and four minutes from uh, Hausfeld. So now it's interesting to see what is the gap between the teams at the moment. And they have been running 2.8 kilometers. <laughs> and the fourth leg, it's 8.1, 8.3 kilometers. So still a lot to be over five kilometers to run at this control and as i said it's interesting to see after the fourth uh, and this fourth leg after the fifth control uh, there is a possibility to take some route choices as we have seen here when athletes have started from this control going to the light or the left uh, quite many have been taking quite straight but soon we are seeing what uh, does uh, Kemperle and Hauschwirt, are they together or making different true choices? And then behind Sturatuna, I'm uh, just looking over my back here on another screen, MS Parma, Halden, Hidenkert, uh, Pohjan, Tähti, Paimio, Rasti, they are quite close to each other, Oko, Uko Kore also close, and then comes Kove. And I believe Tampere and Pyrin, the second team, is also in that group, uh, their dot has stopped on the way to the second control. But now, clock is ticking. Over two minutes since uh, Kemperle and Hauschwirt punch it here. So now... Clock is ticking, clock is ticking. And when I'm looking on Tuve's GPS, uh, she made a small mistake again to the fourth control. And soon should be there, now climbing back towards this uh, control. Although it looks a little bit flat here, but there are many, many meters to climb from the fourth one. The difference here from Lowest to highest point is quite a lot in this terrain. Harpati Hill is a quite big hill here beside Eno Center. Now already three and a half minutes at no two Alexanders yet, so clock is ticking and now there comes two Alexanderson punching there. 3 minutes 39 seconds. Well, everything is possible. Still a lot to be a lot to be done. The cap from uh, House Kemperle to Alexanderson here at the start was uh, 2 minutes and 51 seconds. So there has been uh, 40 seconds uh, more on this first 3 kilometers and we saw the mistake that uh, Tuve make made there on the third control, and now here on the four kings we have this big group of Tampere uh, Pyrin second team: Emma Sparma, Gea Muko, Iden Kertajat, Halden, Paimioristi, Pohjan Tähti. They were together. Cap was uh, from uh, Sturatuna to Pyrin and Muras, only one minute, but now it's uh, a lot more. It's approximately three minutes when uh, Tuve has punched uh, there on this fifth control. Uh, and we wait for the next team, so I believe the cap will be over six, uh, maybe seven minutes to the next team. So here is uh, the difference between the top top uh, athletes and then the next level runners and here 
is the root choice for the from the fifth to the sixth. If uh, we looked, Uwe Norska has the control here, lowest one, and Alftaios are there punching on her own. And the house field have to continue quite so much more before punching her own. And here has been some possibilities, maybe even take the root choice going down back and then the path around to Harpatti Hill. And uh, Tuve just making so that uh, going around up there and then using the same direction as uh, the Hausfeld and Gemberle earlier. There might be a small bat heading towards those controls, but uh, small differences in the resources can be seen. And interesting to see also this chasing group. Tampere and Pyrinto now on the fourth place there. Was on that control. Five minutes behind, a couple of seconds under five minutes behind, leading after her. So, excellent work from Purinta's second team so far. Now, Simona Abelschild running for Purinta's second team. Lotta Erola, Anni Hanpa, Sonja Kyrölä, young runners, has been doing excellent work. MS Parma there now, and Maya Sianoja. Started on a seventh place and now on a fifth, five, fifth place. And just behind her, Kirstin Löfgren from IFK Murasuko. A little bit under seven minutes, followed by. Then we wait. And we have Muras, where is Paimio Rasti? MS Parma, Rasti Karhut, Hiden Kierta, three, these four Finnish teams uh, we wait next. Uh, and it looks there is Pohjan Tähti and Marika Teini. Teini has started very well. She has been almost fast as uh, Natalia Kemberle, only 10 seconds slower. So second fastest so far, Marika Teini from Asko Pohjan Tähti. She started on the 12th place and is now already currently on the 7th place, but Chase is on. And the cap to, for example, Tampere Purit, the second team, is only two and a half minutes. So Pohjan Tähti can still climb at least on the 4th place. There are Abershal, Tsianuja and Löfgren ahead of Teini. Now we wait for Eden Kierteat, Halden, Gemuko, and Elena Roos right, running there. Halden, she has started also very well. Elena Roos uh, from Halden, and they are on eighth place. And then there will be a small cap, maybe a little bit under one minute from Halden to Kore, Geamuko, Paimio Rasti. It looks to be those teams. And here, Alfta Ösa, Gemberle in the lead, and the cap is now two minutes. Oh, the tail is two minutes. And you see that Norska is there on the second place. And here, on the same time, here beside me sits Simo Martoma, another course setter of this Yukola relay. So, Moriens. It's been an interesting, interesting Venla relay so far. What do you say? <laughs> I believe. I was, I was expecting it to be. Very interesting, actually. Uh, big mistakes. Big mistakes. As seen, seen many times there, as you have been expected. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what was your main aim when you started uh, doing the Yukola and Venla courses? Mm. Many years before it has been, I think, 
this system, forking system, it has almost become too complex. So we thought that we go back to basics. Uh, so first, first idea was to make a rather simple forking system, and of course. Um, give a system where runners have to do their own work. Those two, two things we had had like main ideas. And it looks that it's been working, because the difference between athletes has been quite big, and there is has been, or oh, we have seen mistakes, and then also so that the teams has come back when they have made very good, for example, Siemens, uh, excellent work on a third leg. Exactly. They were running some 45 seconds behind estimated time after two legs. And then there has been some mistakes, so now they are some three, three and a half minutes behind our expected time. And here comes uh, Natalia Kemberle in the lead alone. There was the different forking, and she managed to do it well. But uh, she knows that you have to orient her until the end, uh, because we all remember what she made in Tiumila. It was like a junior co control, which he missed, uh, and uh, Alf Tauersa dropped down on the eighth place, but now you have to concentrate until the end. <coughs> of course. And then there... Now it's fourth leg, and there are lot, lots of parts uh, in ter terrain, so it's an, it, it's a bit easier now. Yes, that's true, but, uh, but the, of course they are having a new part yeah, also they, for, uh, for the end of the leg, because it's, uh, this is a little bit longer, a little bit over 8 kilometers course for last leg runners, and now the cap here, it's over one minute, as we saw from GPS, uh, from Alfta Ursa to Uel Norska, and now we're waiting for Sabine Hausfirt. Mm, are there surprises from the teams which are in the top at the moment for you? Not really among those teams which are leading now, but, um, well, there has been many, many good teams which have been making <laughs> really big mistakes already from the start, as you, as you could see. Uh, yes, we have seen. And uh, here is Hausfirt, uh, 1 minute 25 seconds behind leading Alftaus and Natalia Kemberle. And she, there is Kemberle heading towards the next controls uh, and keeping a good pace. And it's quite warm also to, today, you could see from Kemberle, she's only wearing the number bib at the moment. I think that's one factor in our, it's maybe a bit too hot actually, it could be better with some 15, 20 degrees, now it's almost 25. Of course, of course it's really dry now in, in the forest and runnability is very, very good. That's true and here is uh, Kemberle heading towards the next controls. Some forkings uh, before uh, I entering. I'd like to say that Alfta Ursa uh, has maybe some problems now. She had the control there the oh, yeah. a day oh, before, okay. so, so she's straight running. ahead. And here yeah, comes exactly. also uh, how it looks for uh, Sabine Hausfirt, a uh, little bit over one minute behind. And now she knows maybe that uh, because they were together on this long course around Harpatin Vara, there were many route choices uh, on that. Uh, how do you see how the, the athletes uh, that does, uh, did that uh, course from fifth to sixth control? Um, it's pretty much like we were expecting. The, the, there was this left. Uh, alternative which hasn't been used that much down to the uh, path and around uh, not really down but bit bit up and then to the left i haven't seen anything to use, use that i thought that it could be uh, one possibility 
Yes, that's one. We saw a couple of athletes uh, starting from the fifth control, so that going down yeah, but and, uh, and then maybe losing if they're going around. But uh, That's not a good idea. Yeah. Maybe for the uh, teams that are not so competing on the top part, uh, that's just enjoying an orientation, but still it's quite green there in the map and also in the forest. Uh, and now uh, f this last leg starts there own part of this terrain there are some controls which uh, no one has been so there is a this is the first one now yeah so now this is untouched terrain so far stura tuna and tuve alexanderson they are on the eighth control cap is three minutes and 30 seconds so it's exactly the same as it was there earlier so no differences there so tuve has to f find some extra gear to catch up uh, Hauswirt or Kempel. And then uh, it was one and a half minute gap to Tampere Purinto, second team, Abersheld, Sianoja Muras, Sianino for Amas Parma, Löfgrenko, IFK Muras, and then Marika Teini for Asko Pohjantähti. And interesting to see how close uh, is. Uh, Daini coming to that group uh, and can Tampere and Purinto second team still hang on there on the top five. Purinto first team drop out already in the first leg and now at the first intermediate of this fourth leg at uh, 2.8 kilometers we have now 29 teams among 16 minutes and New Darlings and Anne Margerte Hauskan has punched there 60, uh, almost 17 minutes behind, leading after us together with Johanna Oeberi from Ugoline. And here we have now after us already on the next uh, intermediate control, TV control, 11th control. Tampere Purinto is here and Simona Abersheld 6 minutes 20 seconds behind the leading authors and almost 3 minutes behind Stura Tuna so it's now between these three teams the final fight and here is the last part 12th control what do you say about that Simon? That's a rude choice you could take this um, uh, left alternative first to the part and then that road and maybe yeah, just before house uh, right to the control and the, or, or this one which we can see now after us so is taking rather straight choice and I guess this this which now Alpha Ursa is running is best one. And here is now next Uel Norska and Sabine Hausfirt uh, uh, GPS there. And this fourth leg control at 5.5 kilometers. And the cap is bigger. It was 1 minute 25 seconds, uh, only 800 meters earlier. So Gemberle is keeping an excellent pace. And here comes Hausfirt. And the gap is now 158, 159, 158 behind leading. And she is looking and finding the root choice to that control, which we just was uh, checking. Tampere and Purinta, they're on a fourth place. And now, yes, she made the S. Uh, That's a bit special. A <laughs> little like special, say, yeah. But it's safer to take control from that that direction yeah it's rather demanding to take it from that um, direct straight route the next one we are waiting here is Stura Tuna and uh, Tuve Alexanderson it's been now soon three minutes and it was three and a half minutes exactly the cap 800 meters earlier 
when I, when I was following uh, the course setters info yesterday and then you were telling a little bit behind the scenes so far so I had a little bit feeling that the caps will be this big today but this big they are a little bit surprisingly uh, what makes so special about this Harpati terrain? Uh, it's very very much very variation in terrain that so th there are at least three four different so, terrain types and when you're going from one type to another type it's uh, those like, borders between those terrain types they are really like it changes suddenly and you have to adapt your technique to a different type of terrain so I think this is the this point today that's true uh, that's true and uh, here is uh, now Hausfirt making uh, a different route choice and when we look the cap between uh, Uelnorska and then uh, Sturatuna it's only one and a half minutes so it's quite open it's still open. I think Talfasa is running a bit too far. And then this Kuornoskos choice is a bit fast. So the gap could be something like one and, one and a half, maybe there. Yeah, and then we know that uh, Tuve has trained to run very fast his last, uh, last kilometers. So does Kemperle and Hausfirst. But uh, interesting to see. Tuve won the first World Cup Tour here in Finland. Uh, Kemperle was uh, on fourth place and Hausfirt, uh, she was fifth in overall results. So there are, and now there comes Paimi uh, Rasti. On the seventh, and then uh, if Komuras there first, Pamirasti Halden as Kopohjan Tähti on that uh, second intermediate place. So it's going to be tough to fight. Uh, there is Mamas Parma only 40 seconds ahead of IFK Muras uh, on fifth place. Uh, now they are chasing Muras, Paimi, Rasti, Halden, Pohjan, Tähti, Jöte, Bori. They are seeing each other. And also Lisa Riesby for UK Kore is only 10 seconds behind Jöte, uh, Boma, uh, Lina Strand. And then there comes half a minute behind these teams comes Rastikarut and Eli Peltomäki to this 4.7 kilometers intermediate control. And here now, Alfta Ösa Kemperle taking the control quite smoothly, although, as you said, she went quite a long way until the, using the road. But uh, she took the control and now turning towards the 13th control which is uh, I, I'd like to say this the uh, last demanding control yeah. after that it's pretty easy so that's true and then we have one more TV control before entering the last controls and then coming to the competition center and, but now it looks that it looks very well for Alfta Ursa they were closed at the Umila and one of the favorites for this relay and uh, only Miss Luck can maybe take the victory. There is one control left, I'd, I'd like to say. <laughs> and uh, now we're waiting here for this control. We saw a moment ago Muras by Mirasti Halden, Asko Pohjan Tähti, GMUK in the group. Just ahead of them there is MS Parma and Maya Sianoja on fifth place. Is Maya there? No, there comes first, of course, on the fourth place, uh, Tampereen Pyrintö. 
second team on Berchold. This young Swiss team, but uh, she had have little, little is here. But it's not not oh, so really. <laughs> <laughs> she went out on a on a wrong path, uh, as did the. I the guess one, two, second and third leg go out. She has been maybe following those parts from yeah. uh, earlier. earlier. Yes. Thanks. But still the cap behind uh, to Parma was uh, all over two and a half minutes. And now here, the tail is one minute, so Norska and Hausfirt uh, currently on a second place. Uh, and then Stura Tuna only half a minute, maybe 40 seconds behind. Uh, so now it's interesting about the second place uh, fight between two tough, tough orienteers, Sabine Hausfeld and Tuve Alexanderson. And the terrain is very open now from 14th control, so maybe Tuve Alexanderson can see Uvanorska. That's true, and there we have an official uh, cap between these two teams, uh, 39, 40 seconds. Uh, is Hausfeld ahead of uh, Alexanderson? And Kemberle just uh, taking very smoothly the 14th control. And now heading towards the 15, which we have the TV coverage from. In overall, uh, Simo, what do you say about women's relay? It's had, it has been quite exciting and pretty much like I was expecting, actually. So. I'd like to say I'm, I'm satisfied, at least at the moment. What has, have you been speaking with the athletes after they're running after first uh, three legs? Uh, not really. Uh, what are you expecting to say? What are they going to say? Mm, it's tough, <laughs> physically <laughs> tough. It's yes. demanding technically and uh, it's warm. Yeah, maybe those are the words. Uh, and here, uh, now we're waiting for... Uh, Alftaiosa and Natalia Kemberle to this uh, next intermediate control, last intermediate control of the women's race. Uh, and then it just run towards the last controls. Here she comes, uh, Natalia Kemberle for Alftaiosa. It's been excellent, excellent from start to beginning. Kalina Vinogradova started excellently. She was first here. Josefine Heikka continued. Sara Eskilsson, a little bit struggling on the third leg, but uh, could manage to hold Alfta Ösa in the top positions. And here now, Natalia Kemberle bringing Alfta Ösa to Tiumila. After Tiumila, Miss Luck to Jukola relays victory. And now, thank you for Simo. You go now and take these teams at the finish and follow then the next of the race. And we see you then maybe during the night time of the men's relay. We'll see. Thank well, you very much. Thank you, Simo. And here, Natalia Gambler just looking over her shoulder. Who is there running in beside me? It's Timo Mikkola, I believe, heading there together with her towards the last controls under the tunnel. And then just run to the last control. She had problems then in Tiumila on the last control, but I believe that this one she isn't missing this time. And it's, uh, it's the Victory coming for Alfta Ösa UK from Sweden. But the fight for the second place, uh, it's open. Norska still there ahead. Here comes uh, Sabine Hausfirt. Uh, and uh, how close is Tuve? It's not important now to cap to Alfta Ösa. It's 155, but uh, is Uwe already, Uwe already there? Is she, can she see Sabine Hartsfield uh, there 
heading towards the next uh, controls. Uh, And there comes Tuve, punching there, and the gap is uh, 33 seconds. It's not over yet uh, between these two teams. And here is on the last control already, Natalia Kemberle. And now it's only to run in this very, very warm terrain. Weather here at the Eno. She has punched it on the last control and now last 500 meters to run. And I believe soon here on the last hill here in the competition center, I can see already Kalina Vinogradova, Josefine Heikka, and Sara Eskilsson waiting for this women who is giving high fives for the audience. And Natalia Gemberle and she is doing that thing that uh, Mikhailo Mäki said in the interview from the Finnish Orientary Federation that uh, they were traveling here with the train and had a big, uh, had a long discussion about orienteering and ukulele, and he was hoping that this team with Natalia Kemperle could win if there is not a Finn team, Finnish team in the top, and it is Alfta Ösa S Uko from Sweden taking this uh, year's 40th jubileum uh, Venla relay victory to Sweden and here comes uh, Natalia Kemberle cheering having fun here on the final meters only last 200 meters to run and the audience is taking her and soon the whole team together to finish there they are after Ursa's flag Going from side to side at the same time, uh, Sabine Hausfried bringing Uel Norska to the second place. Uh, there is not yet Tuve Alexanderson on the last control. If she might be there right now, the possibility could be to run a cap. Sabine Hausfried on these last 100 meters, but uh, the cap is too big. And here they come Galina Vinogradova. Josefine Heikka, Sara Eskilsson, Natalia Gemberle, winners of the 40th Venla Relay, Jubileum Relay. And the victor team comes from Sweden. What a race have we seen? They have made it so that as little as must, uh, possible mistakes during this uh, relay. Excellent work uh, from these four athletes and they are the winners of Venla Relay 2017. And it looks that the next team comes from uh, Switzerland. Uh, one of the favorites also for this uh, relay was uh, Uel Norska from Switzerland. Sarina Jenzer on the first leg. Sirlie E. Groljaren on the second one. Simone Nikli. She even claimed come and uh, Norska was leading this relay at the last exchange by one minute and now Sabine Hausfirt uh, then on the fourth and last leg bringing Uel Norska to the second place her main aim was to the top ten but with excellent excellent work they are now running here these four team four members of the team to the second place of this Venla relay Excellent work. Uh, and it was very close for uh, Simon and Nick Lee to take one more victory here in Venla Relay. And to the four, third place is coming there. Sturatuna Uko from Sweden, Anna Morsell, Magdalena Olsson, Julia Gross and Tuve Alexanderson on the last leg. Tuve went out a little bit of uh, three minutes behind the leading team and the gap here at the finish was only 148 and we saw the mistake that Tuve made there in the beginning so but this is orienteering this is orienteering you have to pick up all the controls uh, smoothly to be in the top uh, but excellent work also from uh, these uh, Tiumila winners and now third place in Yukola.
Uko, Sturatuna Uko from Sweden. And then next, we are waiting. Tampereen Purinto, Simone Abersholt, Purinto second team. And here some GPS coverage from behind. Tampereen Purinto has punched it there on 12th control. Different two choices made there by Pohjan Tähti Halden, Ames Parma, Paimi Rasti Halden now together. There are Ida Marinies Björgul for Paimi Rasti and for Halden. It's uh, Elena Roos. And also IFK Muras there, Kerstin Löfgren, MS Parma, Maja Siano, ja Marika Teini for Rasko Pohjan Tähti, UK Kore, Lisa Riesby are in that big group fighting for top five position because here comes Tampereen Pyrint. Second team, Simona Abersholt, this very, very young team, young runners in this uh, Tampereen Pyrint second team. Excellent work from start to begin, start to the end for this team and she has punched it there as a fourth team. And then there is a fight. Uh, out of the five team and now just the moment by Mior Rasti and Ida Marin Nies Björgul currently on the fifth place followed by Halden and Elena Roos. Pohjan Tähti Marika Teini is there a little bit behind because there are Mamas Parma, Maja Sianoja, Uko Kore and Lisa Riesby just ahead of her, maybe half a minute ahead. Then comes Kove, Mironova and Keamuko. Lina Strand, Svetlana Mironova has been running also quite well. Equally with the same pace with this group. Kemperle keeping totally own pace. Two Sturatunas, two Alexanderson has been a little bit faster than Kemperle, but still. They were the two fastest so far. At seven kilometers, we are now waiting the next teams, and soon also we are waiting for uh, Tampere and Purinto second team and Simona Abersheld here to the finish, but it takes a small while before she is here. It's been now five minutes since uh, Natalia Kemper punches at the finish as a first team and winner of Venla Relay. When we look forward at this day, uh, today, of course, the Yukola Relay starting at 11 o'clock local time. So today's Venla Relay have shown us that it's going to be demanding Yukola Relay also. So anything is possible, so stay tuned for Yukola today starting, as I said, 11 o'clock local time. Ida Marines Björgul, they're now currently on the fifth place. And now it's interesting to see how big is the cap to behind to Halden, Elena Rus. And this shows us that Halden, which wasn't the teams we were counting to the top ten, is now fighting for the fifth place, sixth place currently. That with good orienteering, no big mistakes, uh, they have been now just climbing one way to the other, now currently on the sixth place. Uko Kore, Lisa Riesby, excellent work. There comes also now behind her, IFK Muras Uko, Kirstin Lövgren. And it's going to be a tough fight there. Lövgren only 15 seconds behind Halden and Elena Roos. Maja Sianoja, next one. 11.37 behind. Which out of these women has most strength for this last kilometer? Because they have now still liberated over one kilometer to run. And we saw that it starts to run. Who has the strength to push up as hard as they can? And where is... Uh, Amas Parma and uh, Marika Teini, also uh, Gea Muko and Lina Strand, Kove, Svetlana Mironova. Those are the next teams we are waiting to this control at seven kilometers of the last women's leg.
difference, big, big differences, although differences with the first and the second one was only under two minutes, so quite close. But then there has been a big caps uh, when I look the situation on uh, women's race uh, at 5.5 kilometers. We have only 28 teams been there. Last one has been Lahden Suunista 37 uh, with Minna Kauppi. And here we have now very glad young Tampereen Purinta team. Tampereen Purinta second team is coming in there as a fourth team. Excellent, excellent work. Lotta Eerola, Anni Haanpää, Sonja Kyrölä, Simona Abelschöld showed us that the young, young runners can do it very well in this demanding terrain. And fourth place. Who would imagine that that Tampereen Purinta second team is the best Finnish team in this relay? And here we go now and have an interview with uh, Tuve Alexanderson, if I remember right. Ja, väldigt varierad skog och tuff fysis. Det var väldigt kul ut i skogen. Det var många som ville sätta alla sina pengar på dig när du kom ut, ut så nära, nära täten. Hur kände du, hur, du situationen själv? Nej, det var ganska långt och de löparna som går ut före mig är ju riktigt eh, bra löpare. Så jag visste att det skulle krävas misstag från dem om jag skulle kunna ta i kapp. Är ni nöjda med slutplaceringen? Ja, vi är jättenöjda. Jag är i alla fall väldigt nöjd och jag hoppas att alla tjejerna också är nöjda. Grattis! Tack så mycket! Det vi hade very happy. Tove Alexandersson, she knew that the cap was so big that she needed to have help from the others so that they made mistakes to catch up. So she was very happy and hoped that all the others were also happy for today's race and uh, final position, third in the race race. But now, fight for the fifth place. There comes Paimio Rasti. Ida Marini Björgold has done very well on this last leg and there are club mates waiting for her there are Nina Temjakova, Emma Silvenoinen, Sara Norgrand and Ida Marines Björglund, Björgun run in these uh, Pimeer Rusty colors uh, and taking the fifth place in this 40th Jukola Venla relay Glad, glad by uh, your rusty runners there. And then, who will be the next one? There she comes. Uh, it looks to be Halden. Yes, number one, Halden and Elena Roos bringing Halden to the sixth place. Joseph Horn, Eva Jurenikova, Holy Orr, and Elena Roos in that team. And sixth place. This year's Yukola, and then there will be number 12. And no, yes, number 12, Uko Kore, Lisa Riesby on the last leg. Wilma von Krusenstierna, Kaisa Riesby, Matilda Andersson, and Lisa Riesby on the last leg. Excellent, excellent also from the Swedes, and Lisa is very happy at the finish, just smiling there at the finish and bringing the team to the seventh place 11 minutes behind winning of the Ursa. Tuve Alexander was the fastest uh, women on this course uh, 48 20 Natalia Kemper 49 21 and now IFK Muras Uko and Kerstin Lövgren bringing the team to the eighth place uh, and in that team, Anastasia Drubgina, Olha Pachenko, Denis Kos Denisa Kosova, and Kirstin Lövgren running in that team. And then we're waiting for Finnish team, and there is uh, Amas Parma, Tulia Viberi, Anastasia Rudnaya, Tia Miettinen, Maja Sianoja to the ninth place. 
And then after, Sianoja will be waiting for Amas Asko Pohjan Tahti, team which uh, has changed it since yesterday evening. Anna Hateja started, had some problems in today's race. Heini Venman on the second one, Sofia Hajanen, and now Mari Kateini running the last leg for Askon Pohjan Tahti from Oulu. And they are tenth. And that might be a little disappointment for the Askon Pohjan Tahti girls. And then KV Svetlana Mironova bringing the team to the 11th place. Uh, Johanna Hulkonen, Karolina Uskoski, Mia Niittynen and Svetlana Mironova. Mironova was sixth fastest on so far on this last leg, 53-27, when Sturetunas Uvtuva Alexander Stein was 48-20. And then Tampereen Pyrintö, Lotta Karhola, Anni-Maja Finke, Saila Kinni, Venla Harju. Lotta Karhola had, had today a bad day, big, big mistakes, and Venla bringing now Pyrintö to the 12th place. Going out today as a 22nd last and now 12th place, so excellent work. Kemu K, Lina Strand, 13th. In that team was Mua Engmark, Victoria Emson, Anna Fosberry, Lina Strand. And here next, uh, interview from Alfta Ösa's team, Natalia Kemberg running with the last leg. Alfta Ösa, congratulations for a victory. Uh, first, Galina Vinogradova, you had a perfect start to the race. What are your feelings now? I'm feeling very nice <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm very happy, I'm very satisfied it's, uh, because we do it. <laughs> Josefin Heikka, we uh, talked about it in the end that it was a huge success and a huge feeling. What kind of feeling is now? It's even better, if it can be. It's a very good feeling and I'm very happy to be here with all the dancers. It's just a happy feeling. Kuinka jännittävä oli seurata? Oh, vitsi, se oli jännittävä. Mä en pysty edes katsoa koko, koko ajan, koska se oli niin jännittävää. Mä menen tonne teltan takaa ja yritän vain, okei, okay, nyt mietin jotain muut, okei, okay, okei, okay, mitä tapahtuu. Ja, ja tosi jännittävä. Sara Eskilsson, uh, du hade et, et väldigt bra lopp i början, sen lite, lite osäkerhet där, men, men ett tillräckligt bra lopp. Och nu är du vänla segrare. Hur känns det? Ja, ja det, det känns helt fantastiskt. Jag var... Ja, det var tufft när jag insåg att jag hade gjort ett misstag, men så jag, jag knöt ihop det bra och jag, jag visste att jag hade en så extremt stark avslutning som jag bara skulle vara hyfsat i närheten, då skulle Natalia ha en bra chans och det, ja, hon gjorde det. And Natalia Gemperle, we have a very little time, but congratulations, great revenge, how does it feel? It feels great, you know, <laughs> everybody, it's not only lost, like we need to win for all team. Thank you, congratulations. Very, very glad where the top teams, uh, top athletes there. Josefina Hekka said in Finnish uh, that she was really, really glad she, she couldn't watch the race. Uh, she was went behind, behind the tent uh, and thinking something else. Uh, and also Sara Eskenson couldn't be more than happy, although she had some problems during the race. And also Natalia Gemberle just said, as we heard. Now we made it. So. Alfta Ösa winning this 40th Venla Relay just ahead of Uwe Norska from Switzerland. Stura Tuna Uko third ahead of Tampereen Pyrintö. Paimio Rasti, Halden Asko, Uko Kore, IFK Muras, MS Parma, Asko Pohjan Tähti, KV, Tampereen Pyrintö, GMUK on 13th place followed by Lilumarka, Ante Unui, Järla and Rasti Karhut on a 17th place. Exciting, exciting race have we seen. And uh, now we start to concentrate for the men's and relay, Yukola relay, starting today at 11 o'clock local time. And our live from Yukola starting 15 minutes before that, so 22.45.
We are starting live coverage here from Finland, Joensu and Eno. Now EFK leading, uh, coming on 18th place, Göteborg Majorna on 19th place. And next team, who is soon here, should be Van Kristiansand, followed by Iktisa, New Darlings and Kangasala SK. I thank you for this, and we continue in the evening. Now some small rest, also there on the home sofas, as here on the Joensuu and Competition Center, and we come back at 72.45 local time. See you then, thank you, and bye-bye. Thank uh you. -huh.